All right, welcome everyone. Farmer Cop here. This video will show you my personal top five ways to make money fast in Farming Simulator 19. This is with no cheats. So if this is what you're looking for, go ahead and stay tuned. All right, everyone. So like I already mentioned today, we're going to go over my personal favorite ways of earning money without cheats in Farming Simulator 19. So some of these ways you may have already uh, heard about or you already know about uh, because they're already in game and what have you. But I may be still able to add on to your knowledge or maybe you didn't know these were the best money makers and you just gave up on them too soon. So I'll also go over a variety of different ways to make money fast in Farming Simulator, not just crop-based or animal-based, but from all sorts of ways that you can do it in-game. And again, this is not going to be with this is going to be without any cheats. So again, we'll go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so my first option for you today might seem kind of strange, but it's sugarcane. Believe it or not, it is probably one of the most profitable crops in Farming Simulator 19. It can earn you as much as two or three times more profit than growing wheat, for example. Most people will disregard sugarcane, though, right off because it has very specialized items and it seemed like it might be extremely expensive to get into it, especially early on, but it actually isn't. I'm going to show you how you can get into it in a new farmer mode right off the bat. So the only thing you need to get started with the, the sugar cane here is right in front of me. As long as you have two tractors in new farmer mode and a plow or a cultivator, as well as a trailer or tipper, the only things you have to buy to grow sugar cane is the harvester attachment and a specialized cedar. So we'll look over here at the cedar real quick. So this is the single row billet planter located in sugar cane technology in the store, and it costs $32,000 to buy. So you need that. And this can be pulled, by the way, this only requires 130 horsepower to run. So almost any in-game tractor that you start with is going to be able to run this almost right off the bat. So the next thing you're going to need to look at here is going to be this guy right in the middle. This is the Lizard SWT7. So this guy is located in sugarcane technology in the store as well, and it will set you back about 45,000. And so this guy also as well to note only needs 100 horsepower to run. So again, easy to run right off the bat in uh, using one of your new tractors or one of your tractors that you start off with in new farmer mode. And you don't have to have a worker do it and then uh, run a trailer behind them. It has a trailer hitch hooked up to the back. So you just take whatever tipper you started out with. And this just happens to be one of the, the least expensive ones that's in game. So whatever tipper you start off with, you can just hook up to the back of there. So not too bad. You can get started right away on this. So if you have to only buy the harvester and the cedar, you can get started with sugarcane technology for only 77000 which in new farmer mode, you already have uh, enough cash to get started. So definitely not too bad. All right, so here I planted some sugar cane that's already ready to harvest, and here it is. This is this guy working. Now, given this is going to take a while to harvest, so I recommend hiring a worker um, and doing that. That is, I think, the biggest drawback to sugar cane, though you are making a lot of money for the small amount of land that you're doing at a time, and, of course, more for more land that you do. But you can do this on a small field and make a significant amount more of money. Um, the one thing that does take a while is harvesting it, and also to grow this crop if you have plant growth set too fast it will take approximately three days to grow this i'm not sure how much it'll take on normal but it does take a while to grow so um, you can either uh, an option for that is downloading like a mod where you can speed up the time or if you just have other things you can do around your farm such as logging or other things um, to make money in the meantime so there you have it this guy is harvesting away uh, there's another thing that i want to show you as well so after you harvest your first set of sugar cane here I would recommend using some of that sugarcane to plant your next field of sugarcane, that is. So you can use sugarcane kind of like the potato planter, where you can use the actual finished product to put it in the planter to plant the, the new crop. Um, and I recommend that because it does uh, take a significant amount of seeds, kind of similar to potatoes, uh, where seeds end up being extremely expensive. About You're looking at around $1,000 uh, for 1,000 seeds. That's about what they are, 1,000 liters of seeds, uh, versus sugarcane sells for right around anywhere from between 200 to 400 depending on what mode you're on all right so number two on my list is horses believe it or not because all you need to do horses is this stuff right here in front of you all you need is a water tank a tractor with a front loader attachment and a straw blower all this can be gotten very cheap inside the store and a lot of times you're starting out tractors and new farm or at least one of them a lot of times you're able to get a front loader attachment um built in or customized onto it so if you go bring your tractor down to the store to a workshop 
Uh, you just go in and customize it. A lot of times, only about fifteen hundred bucks to add a front loader attachment to it. Then you have to buy the front loader arm, and then you have to buy this guy here, which is a straw blower. And then in addition to that, you have to buy the uh, Aqua Trans or some form of a water tank. And again, I'm trying to use just stuff that's in game. Uh, other than my tractors, this tractor is actually part of the Platinum expansion. It's one of the class tractors. So, um, but anyhow, so then the, again, this will work with any tractor. The tractor is kind of unconsequential to uh, horses. And then you, of course, will have to buy a horse pen, which is going to be the most expensive part of this whole process. So the small horse pen standard in game is $50,000. There is a mod you can get for a small horse pasture that only costs, I believe, 8,000 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's a lot cheaper option. The small one that you can get as a mod only holds two horses. This will hold eight for you. So this will get a little bit more going. Uh, so the things that essentially when it comes down to horses, the things you have to buy them are oats, hay, water, and straw. So you might say, well, I don't have the ability to collect straw or bale straw or bale hay or do all that. And that's a lot of equipment that you need to do that. And I don't want to be having to worry about growing oats and making sure I have those to feed them. If you go into this store and big bags, you can buy oats right here. Yes, it is more expensive to buy them from the store. However, with the amount of money you're going to make from horses, it's still worth it. And then coming down here to bales, you can buy straw bales, hay bales, and either a square uh, bale form or you can buy them as round bales so you can get all of this stuff standard in game and these bales t aren't terribly expensive actually um, if it, if you really look at it just for how many liters you're getting for the uh, price there so they're actually not too bad so uh, just be aware of that you can get all this stuff in game um, in the store right off the bat and these aren't any mods this is all stuff that comes standard in game so be aware of that. You don't really have to produce everything to provide for them. Water, you can gather at any water source. You also, if you want to go into the store, you can put um, down here in miscellaneous. There's a placeable water station that's standard in game. It's $5,000 to start with, but then you get free water forever. So if you want, you can go ahead and place that right next to your horse paddock. So not a big deal there if you wanted to do that route as well. So the main drawbacks with horses, you buy them for $5,000. And then after you ride them so much for so many days, um, you're able to sell them for $50,000 or around there. The care for horses is after you ride them, so you have to ride them every day for five minutes, and that's real minutes, not in-game minutes. You ride them for five minutes, and then they have to be cleaned after riding. The cleaning is super easy. All you have to do is walk up to the horse and click on it. So super easy to clean them. Riding them, however, five minutes a day. What if you have eight horses going? That's 40 minutes of your time. Do you really want to do that every day? No, you don't. So what I'd recommend is getting the horse helper mod where you can have workers that will do it automatically excuse me, automatically for you every day. So that'll save you the heartache and the time there and allow you to make money a lot faster doing this. So all you have to focus on is making sure the horses are fed and watered. So quickly on taking care of horses, first you got to buy them. So you can either buy a transport trailer of some type, but if you're trying to save money, you don't really need to do that. So if you come over to the back of the horse pen here um, and come up to this and just be inside this box and hit R, you can buy any horse and it doesn't matter. They're all going to net you the same profitability at the end. But if you move it in there, uh, you are going to have a delivery fee of $300 if you don't uh, have a trailer of your own. But before you're able to pay for even the cheapest trailer, you're going to be doing a ton of horses. So you might as well just pay the delivery fee until you get enough money or at least you do your first set of horses so again it doesn't matter it might be helpful to get eight different colors of them just so you uh can tell them all apart and which ones you're riding if you're riding them yourself and you're not using the horse helper mod but anyhow we'll go ahead and oh shoot we'll get yeah we'll get those guys i know i got well let me do this we'll get four different ones in there perfect we'll go ahead and hit confirm awesome so you see we have four horses now if you did want to ride them you just come up to them and you like you're getting in a vehicle there you go we're on lana so it'll name them itself but um, you can always name them different so this is all you have to do if you just want to let it do this for five minutes it doesn't matter how fast you're going this will count as the riding so if you just do this for five minutes you could even walk away uh, do something else somewhere else in your house or whatever you want to do and then come back after five minutes and it'll be all set to go so if we go into our menu here go into animals we go down to um, which one are we riding? We're riding Lana. So do you see daily riding's at 6%? So that'll go up. Right now you see they're not worth what we paid for them, but they'll eventually go up to 50,000 once we get um, them all the way up. And their health will deteriorate. You see their cleanliness is already going down a little bit. These guys should be 100% clean, but as you ride them, their cleanliness will go down. So if we hop off of Lana here, maybe. There we go. All right, where did Lana go? There's Lana. Oh. I believe we just cleaned Lana if we look in here. Yep. Lana's clean now. So all you have to do is left click on them and then that'll clean them.
I might have to look a couple times, but not that big of a deal to clean them. So that is riding and cleaning them and buying them. So we'll go over how to take care of them here in a second as well. All right, so here we are back. So if we go over here at this point right here, I want to hit my trailer. We back over this point here. So I loaded the straw bale in there. How I got a straw bale in there is just using a bale fork and then dumping it in there. So this point right here, if we hit I, is going to go ahead and start loading straw in there. And it'll keep going until it gets the max for that field or for that pen. So we'll let it roll for a little bit. Now if we go into our horse menu, we can see the straw levels going up slow and steady there. So that is good news for us. All right, and it should be should be getting pretty close. Well, anyhow, we don't need to fill it all the way up to, to do this tutorial, so we'll do that. And then the good news about if you buy this attachment here, the straw blower that I have on the front here, if you look up in the left-hand corner there, it looks like we have three attachments, so we should only have the front loader arms and then the attachment for the straw blower. But if we go here and deconnect here, oh, not there, my bad. If we deconnect, um, let's see here, we deconnect just the furthest out autumn. We have actually our own bale forks are actually come with the standard, so they hook up in there that way. So that way you don't have to pay the extra money for another set of bale forks. So um, we'll use the bale forks here in a second to go pick up oats if you wanted to do that way. Uh, the other way with oats is if you just pull a tipper up next to them or a trailer up next to them in the store, you can just uh, load them up into the trailer from the big bags, and then you can bring the big bags out here and dump them into the food trough. So. We'll be back with you in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually what we'll do, let's add, add water real quick. So we hook up to the Aqua Trans. I already filled it up with water. So if we back in to where the water goes, right there, just hit I to unload. And as you see in here inside the screen, 2,000 liters of water. They're good to go. So I just leave that there until I need to refill it. But yeah, so all, what I'll do is I'll run down to the store and I'll go ahead and uh, start getting us some bales and hauling them up here. So I'll be back with you then. All right, so I went down to the store and I got us a hay bale. I went ahead and just grabbed a square one. It does not matter. So to put this in the trough, just come over here. You'll be able to just drop it in. There it goes. And now if we go into our animal menu, you'll see we have now hay put in there. Um, so there's that. Now I'm going to go down to the store again, and I'm going to pick up a big bag of oats. I'm just going to use this, use the bale spike on the front of it. Um, again, it might be easier for you to use a tipper if you have one of those, especially if you're in new farm mode, you should start out with a tipper anyways. I'll be right back. All right, here I am back with a big bag of oats. So we should just be able to come right over here, and there it is. It's unloading out of there right now. So I'll go ahead and wait till this guy empties here. Almost there. If we go into our menu here we can see that oats is starting to pour in there so there you go that is basically all you need to take care of horses so i haven't gone over this yet you're probably wondering what is the total cost how much is this going to cost me can i do it from the beginning and here's the answer for that you're going to need about fifteen hundred dollars so you can go ahead and add a front loader attachment to one of your tractors that you already have then you're gonna need five thousand four hundred about to buy the arms for the front loader attachment then you're gonna need twenty three hundred dollars to buy the uh, straw blower, which is going to include that bale spike I currently have on the front of this tractor here. Then you're going to need another $9,500 to buy the Jaskin Aqua Trans. And then, so finally after that, you're going to need another $50,000 plus maybe a little bit for landscaping to buy the horse paddock. So just the equipment alone without the horse paddock is $18,700 to get you going. Easy to do when you're starting out. And then if you wanted to add that price of that horse paddock onto that, you're looking at $68,700. And again, you probably already have a tipper, so you probably can do that. So this is something that's quick and easy to get into. So even if you're paying 68700 and we're thinking about you starting out the game on New Farm Road with about $100,000 in the bank, that still gives you plenty of room to buy about four horses starting out. So once you get those four horses uh, trained up and good to go, then that's going to net you instead of, so you pay $20,000 for those four horses, you're going to end up selling them for $200,000. So very easy way to make money in farming simulator and very expandable business. So after you get going, I'm sure you'll be able to grow your own oats and do all that sorts of stuff if you want to. But yeah, that's why this is one of my fast money makers in farming simulator 19. All right, and number three on my list for fast money makers in farming simulator 19 is harvesting contracts, believe it or not. And I have a few reasons for that. So what I did, and I went ahead and accepted a contract here. We're going to go ahead and harvest field five. 
And what we're going to do is take the barley here in field five and we're going to transport it to the restaurant for this contract. So the contract value is $17,105, which is a decent payment for uh, the work we're going to do on here. I did lease the equipment, so we're going to take a penalty of $2,695. The reason I leased the equipment is because one, then in new farmer mode, you don't have to worry about having enough equipment or trying to use your small combine to harvest this field. If you wanted to do that with workers or on your own time, it'll take you forever to harvest this thing with just stuff you have in game. So a lot of times in these contracts, I recommend leasing the equipment. It's just worth it for you to save the time. Uh, the leasing cost typically isn't too much. We're having this huge combine, a header, this uh, tractor trailer here, the semi truck with a huge trailer on it is only $2,695 to lease that for the duration of this contract. There's no penalty if you use them for more hours or anything like that. That's just the cost it's going to be no matter what. A couple other things to add with harvesting contracts, especially here when we're doing barley. So this guy's going to leave a straw swath. Normally in game, you can't do anything with that straw swath if you leave it there. However, there is a mod that allows you to collect straw from missions. And I recommend you take it because then you can get extra money off of this field as well when you're doing a harvesting contract. And as well as that, I recommend too, with this and any other contracts you do, there's a mod that you can download to allow you to do multiple contracts at once, which I don't think is unreasonable or unrealistic. I think if you wanted to work for multiple farmers, you could. However, what you can do then is you can take a couple of harvesting contracts that require the same style header, and you can take the one that has the biggest piece of equipment, and you can take that one, lease the equipment on that one, don't lease any equipment for the other ones, and then you can use this piece of equipment on all of those contracts. So yes, whenever you try to do, if you try to do your own field with this equipment, it's gonna say equipment is reserved for contracts only. That's true, it is reserved for contracts only. It does not have to be the contract that you took the equipment out for. And the leasing cost does not go up, it stays the same. So that's what I recommend as well as a great option. In addition to that, a lot of people don't necessarily know this about contracts, or excuse me, not contracts in general, but harvesting contracts. If you harvest this field, you will get more than is needed to complete the contract. So when you dump off grain, for this example, when we dump off barley at the restaurant, every time we dump off a certain amount of sales, certain percentage is done for the field. So as we're doing that, it's gonna eventually get to 100%, and guess what? We're gonna still have a ton of barley off of this, and the bigger the field, the bigger percentage that you're gonna to get to keep, and you're gonna to get to keep that as extra income as well. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just to kind of show you the numbers of how much you can make off of doing this, is I'm gonna hire a worker to get this going, um, and then what I'm gonna do is transport it all to the restaurant, and then I'm gonna collect the straw with a uh, loading wagon and sell that as well to let you know how much money you could actually make off of a harvesting contract. So, and again, that the harvesting the straw it only works if it's a contract where you're harvesting something that has um, a straw swath that it leaves. So just be aware of that as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started in this contract and I'll let you know kind of how the results go. All right, so I finished up that harvesting contract. So I wanna go over some numbers with you and I think these will shock you. And I think you will do a lot more harvesting contracts after you hear these numbers. So first off, I wanna give a little disclaimer. This is for Field 5, a contract I did on Field 5 in Ravenport. So that field is probably a medium to large field. It's a decent sized field. So just be aware that the smaller field, you're not going to make as much proportionally. You're not going to have the same proportional income as you would. And also, too, you'll make more than this if you do an even bigger field. So it's proportional one way or another. It's not that you're going to make the contract income plus this extra income every time you do any harvesting contract. And note, too, as well, um, you may not be making as much on sugar beet contracts and potato contracts as well. So just be aware of that. And also, too, you're not going to get any of the straw income off of anything that doesn't allow you to produce straw. So you're only gonna get the straw income off of barley, wheat, and oat contracts. So just be aware of that as well. So going down, finishing up the contract, we have a total of $14,410. That's after leasing the equipment. So that is how much we made for just the contract. So then the extra crop that we got after harvesting the entire field is 42,490 liters of barley. That is a boatload of extra barley that we have. So you can either store that or do whatever you want. But if you decide to sell that, and I'm going to put this at the price of about $600 for 1,000 liters. That's about an average price if you're in normal uh, mode uh, for barley. And if you do sell that 42,490 liters at $600 for 1,000 liters, it is going to give you $25,494 on top of your $14,410. 
So if we do a little math here, if we add those two guys up, you're looking at making $39,904 for doing this contract. It's probably only two about, oof, it's really not that much work, maybe an hour of your time if you're hiring a worker to help you out, maybe an hour and a half at the most, and I don't even think it'll be that. And also I wanna note, you're not making a thousand trips to the sell point to get rid of the crop as you're going, I only had to make three trips to get the contract amount there with the semi truck and the trailer that they provided me. So it's a fantastic way to make money. And then, so here is the big kicker, the big pusher. So if you have that mod installed that allows you to take the straw off the field, this field alone using a bailing or a, oh, not a bailing wagon, a loading wagon or a forage wagon, I got 500,000 or 569,738 liters of just straw. That's the equivalent to 142 bales of straw. And if you sell that at a kind of average price for straw in normal mode at $88 per 1,000 liters, you're looking at an additional $50,136 just out of straw. That over doubles your money. And then you're looking at with the other two figures, you're looking at $90,040 just doing one contract in an hour and a half. This is a fantastic way to earn fast money easily starting on Farming Simulator. And if you need to buy a forage wagon, you're paying for the cheapest forage wagon with your straw just off of this one contract. The cheapest forage wagon is only $46,000 and you just paid for it. And that's the only thing you need to buy if you wanna do these. If you don't wanna pick up the straw, you can still get the rest of that contract done without any cost to you. You can just lease the equipment. Now, if you do hire a worker, again, be aware you are gonna spend a little money paying a worker and I don't have that cost included in here, but even if that's $5,000 you spend on paying a worker for a while to work, you're still looking at making $85,000 just pure profit off of this. And if you raise animals or do something else, you could use the straw from these fields as well. So that way you don't have to worry about producing them otherwise. So you could produce some high value crops, not have to worry about producing your own straw or buying it at the store. And you could just do a contract every so often to get that. So again, fantastic way to make money. All right, and number four on my list today, believe it or not, is silage. And you might think, oh my gosh, yeah, you can make money off of silage, but it costs so much money to get into it. Well, that is where you would be wrong. And so just briefly, I'll go over here. There's a cheap way to do silage, and there's a better way that is still inexpensive, but only a little bit more expensive. And then there's another mod, I think, that is almost life-changing or super important when doing silage, and I think it's worth the download for it. So when talking about silage, there are a few things we need to consider here. So a lot of times people think that they need to own the BGA, the biogas plant, in order to do silage. That's not true at all. In game, if you go into your menu, you can look at selling points, you can sell silage. It's not as good of a price as the biogas plant, but you can sell silage at the barn, which is already in game. So you don't have to dish out the, I think it's 485,000 or something like that on Ravenport just to buy the biogas plant. So it's extremely expensive. And I know in some modded maps, it's not as expensive. So you might go that route. Then you might ask, oh, well, I need the I need the bunker silo in order to do that. No, you can buy one in game here. I have one right here. This is just a small one. So believe it or not, you can easily set up doing silage and you can make a ton of money doing it. It does not take long for silage to ferment or anything like that. It's quick, it's cheap, it's easy, and it is a fast money maker in Farming Simulator 19. So things to talk about when getting into it, a lot of people think, oh, you gotta use chaff or something like that, like corn and stuff like that. You need a big forage harvester or anything like that. You don't at all. All you really need is a mower and a loading wagon. That's really all it comes down to, to be honest with you. So over here on this side, I have this mower here. And the reason why this is the cheap option compared to the better option is here on the cheap side, this mower is um, is the cheapest in game. However, it's a side mower. So it's gonna go off to the side. And then, so what you would do in this case is you would mow and then you'd come through and you'd pick it up with a forage wagon. So the option that is better is if you use this mower, which is a um, gonna be just sitting on the front of your tractor, you can mow with this and at the same time, you can pick up with this. So you only have to take one pass. So I think this is a better way. And so if you're looking at the cost to do silage, here are kind of what you're looking at. As long as you already have a tractor, which we're gonna just kind of assume you do if you're in new farmer mode or any mode, you're gonna need a tractor to do stuff anyways in game. So we're just gonna assume you own a tractor. So if you already own a tractor 
you're looking at, on the cheap side, you're looking at $15,000 for a bunker silo, $46,000 for a loading wagon, and $16,000 for the cheapest mower in game. And that's going to bring you to a total of $77,000. And if you're going to go with the better option, you're looking at $15,000, same for the bunker silo, $46,000 for the loading wagon, but $19,000 for the mower instead. So only $3,000 more, which I think is... Uh, definitely worth it if you want to do the better option, and that's going to put you at eighty thousand dollars. However, back here we have a. If you see down there in the middle, that is a milling machine mod. That is a game changer. You just have to hook that up to the front of your tractor, and then you can have a tipper behind it, and that will pick things up. And so that means you do not need a loading wagon. So instead of using a loading wagon to a pick up your grass from the field, and b pick up the silage out of the silo once it's done and fermented, you don't use that or you don't need the loading wagon at all for that. You can use the milling machine for that. It only costs $5,000 in the store. Uh, so that would put you at on the cheap option with the cheap mower, only $36,000. That's including a milling machine and no loading wagon and $39,000 in the more uh, on the better mower side. So I think it's definitely a worthwhile mod. And that gets you into silage for what you're looking at $36,000 getting into silage that is extremely cheap so I think that's definitely a good option for you all right so my fifth and final fast way to earn fast money in farming simulator 19 is doing sewing contracts and doing fertilizing contracts a couple reasons for that you don't make a ton of money but if, especially if you install the mod that allows you to do multiple missions you can borrow the equipment for these guys and then you can use it to do all sorts of other fields. So if you have five sewing contracts that are up there and they all need some sort of a grain crop planted, all you have to do is uh, initiate and lease the equipment for the biggest field that you have. Then you can use that large piece of equipment to quickly knock out all the contracts and not have to pay leasing fees for all of them. This equipment right here in front of me, I got for field five, actually. This is to sew field five. Um, the cost or the 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 cost to lease the equipment is $2,695, and that's taken off the total contract price of about $20,370. Now, what I found out through experience is you probably, on average, I would say if you're just buying seed, you'll probably end up using about 40% of the money that you would earn on the contract buying seed. So if you look at that $20,000 contract, um, you're going to end up spending right around $8,000 on seeds. And then if you hire a worker, you might lose another one or $2,000. But if you have multiple missions going, you can have a, hire, a worker hired in the background, just kind of slowly earning you money on contracts. And fertilizing contracts are very similar, though I think that fertilizing contracts a lot of the time are a little bit more profitable, especially if you're using solid fertilizer. Um, however, what I do recommend, um, again, is kind of using that multiple missions mod to earn more money that way. So again, that's my final uh, option to earn money fast. I do have one other thing that I want to bring up, another way that you can't earn money. I don't think it's quite a top five item. It's a good way to make money, but I think the only way to make it really worthwhile is you need a mod for it, and that's why it's not in the top five, and that's going to be transport contracts. So the reason I think these are a decent way to get going is if you have the bag and lifter mod, which has these items included on it, this whole setup here is going to be $13,200 to buy from the store. Um, so if you have these guys hooked up, it makes it really easy. And I'll show you to pick up pallets like these guys. So I went ahead and started a uh, transporting contract that's going to make us $3,976. So essentially $4,000. And instead of loading these up onto a, a trailer or a truck, you can just use this to drive them right on over. And I'm going to be able to get all of these and I'll show you, I'm going to get all of them on one load here. So if I take this guy back up a little bit here. So our goal here first is we're going to try to grab just the first two guys. So you can adjust a lot of this stuff in in this mod and move a lot of it around. So um, there's a lot of different um, functionality to this. And then if you have over some pallets, you hit L, which is a fat, oh, I got too many there. Back up a little bit, hit L. So now I got those two guys um, attached to it if you just hit L. So it has tension belts for these pallets. So if I lift up, ooh, not that way, there we go. All right, and then I can probably set these guys right in the middle there. Hit L again to unfasten the belts, and then I'm going to try to get over the center and try to get all of these guys at once. Lower down. Okay. 
And there you have it. Now I can transport all of these guys wherever I need to go. All right, guys, that is all I have for fast ways to make money. If there's anything else I missed or anything else you think is a better option, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, like it, and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button up on your screen and check out other videos I may have posted. So, uh, again, welcome. This has been Farmer Cop, and thank you for watching.